Right, I got this tank in here and now I have to drill some holes in the side of it so that I can go into this tank as well as into that tank. So I'll put three inch bulkheads on there. So hopefully these work. If these don't work, I'll have to get some three inch uni seals, but I'll put that there since they're stronger. Um, two of them, so one on this side, one on this side, and one on the other side. We got that three inch bulkhead there. So that will overflow from there into here. So I'm almost done with everything, but right now what I'm going to be showing you in this video is how to install a window on your tank. So I'll be installing it on this big round tank I have behind me. You can install it the same window on a rectangular tank if you have that or a smaller tank, but I'll be installing it on this. And that's what I'll be showing you how to do in this video. Here's what came in the package with the window kit. So you have the polycarbonate sheet. Those are what will be used for sealing it instead of silicone. There's some kind of gasket. It also came with nuts bolts and washers so these washers also have these kind of rubber gaskets on them that will help seal it so that will seal it and then that is how the polycarbonate sheet looks like it has the pre-drilled holes this you can use for either a round tank or even just a normal flat one so that's what i'll put on my big tank but that's pretty much all it came with this is pretty much all you need to install the window you need a jigsaw to cut out the plastic part a drill to drill the holes. You have your washers, your nuts, your bolts that come with the kit. The polycarbonate window is underneath this cardboard. You have these gaskets, which will be for the ceiling, a pencil, a drill bit, and a hole saw. Uh, you'll need a quarter inch drill bit. I'll post the directions below, but this is the size drill bit you'll need. And for the hole saw, it doesn't really matter, but I will be using a, if I can find it. No idea. Ah, there we go. Inch and three quarters. You will also need a wrench or one of these things. This is focus. No. Seven sixteenths. There you go. As well as a screwdriver. Forgot to mention, but you also need a level. And then that should be all. So the first thing you want to do is grab the polycarbonate sheet. That's how it pretty much looks. It has a protective covering around it. And it doesn't matter what side you install it on or what way it faces. Um, but you want the, the sheet on the inside of the tank. But it doesn't matter which side the, uh, the polycarbonate is. So the first thing you want to do is actually draw a line. So I have my line there first. But pretty much you just hold it just to get a general idea where it's going to be. But I will draw another line so I can know the side more or less where the center is. Eyeball it. So I want to get where I want. I want these two holes between this line. After you have your line there, what you will do is put your poly polycarbonate sheet on the place you want to drill it, hold it there, and try to drill in one of these two holes. There's 14 holes, so there's no center, but drill it roughly in one of the two centerish holes. Now that you got that, polycarbonate sheet here like so and that's where your level comes in handy we'll put it there take the drill then you want to level it best you can to where it should be and drill the same holes just with the bottom. That is the first step you want to do. 
And then, so you can do this by yourself, but because I have such a large tank, I'll be doing this with someone else, because I have to be in the inside, drilling the holes out, so I'll put this sheet on the inside, and I don't want to have to go in and out to basically drill the hole, then put the nut on the outside, so this is how I'll start, and then I'll go get my dad to help me out. So I'll take this off and put it on the inside, and while I'll be drilling holes, going through this way, my dad, and I'll be putting these coming out, and then my dad will be putting these nuts on there. So when you do drill it, you want to start basically, like say I'm starting at the top, I'll drill a hole here, and drill a hole, drill a hole here, I'll put the bolt through it, and then attach, my dad will attach the nut, and I'll drill a hole here, and do the same thing, and I'll drill a hole here, and then a hole here, and then a hole here, and then a hole here, see, when, since it has a curve, you want to start in the middle and move outwards, otherwise if you start at the ends and come in, then it's not going to work out, because you'll have a point where it doesn't meet as well. If you're doing it on a flat tank, then it doesn't really matter, but basically you want to just move from the center and outwards. Now we got all those holes drilled. See how that is. So now what I'll do is draw a line where I need to cut. So I'll use these bolts as a guideline. And use my level. If you want it like a an inch. away from the holes. Alright, so you can see we got that. So that's pretty much what we'll be cutting. Next step is to drill some holes and use the jigsaw. So before we cut this out, what we'll first do is use a hole saw and drill holes in the corners. This is nice because you, if you have a nice curve, it makes it look nicer, but also if you're cutting with a jigsaw, you run the risk of going too much accidentally and you don't want to do that. So by having a big hole there, you have plenty of room to stop. I'm using dimension in the list, inch and three quarter, but you can use whatever size. Now that we got these four holes cut out, we can use the, drill, the, the jigsaw to basically cut the straight points. But yeah, make sure you don't want to overshoot or anything. You don't want to mess it up. Um, so go as nice and slowly as you can until you get to that point. Now that we got this all cut out, what we'll do is use a file, a knife, some sandpaper to basically smooth this out and make it look nice. Put my file, put my sandpaper, 40, and a knife. Got it all cut, all drilled, all nice and sanded. Corners look pretty good. So we're almost ready to put the window back. We got a bunch of plastic everywhere, so now I'm gonna start vacuuming that all up. So I got most of that vacuumed up. I can't get all of it, but I'll, what I'll do later is rinse the tank out with water and just have it drain out so I can pretty much get most of the small particles out. Now I'll do the rest of the window so I can have that installed and be done with that. I also have to vacuum out the other tank, a little bit of the plastic on the floor because that stuff went everywhere. But I'm gonna do that now. I'll do the rest of the window now. So now that all of this is ready, what I'm gonna do is take some isopropyl alcohol and just rub the surfaces, both inside and outside, and then I'll go again with some paper towel of water on it 
So that's what I'll do now to really make the surface clean. I'm gonna go get the outside and the inside. All right, so we're good on that. We got the holes cut, the window cut, it cleaned around, and now we just have to prepare the window to put in here.